That you are wicked. You stole the king of Nollywood away from us. What a world.
Long life for you in Jesus' name. Ladies and gentlemen, there are some other very wonderful actors and actresses here. I recognize the presence of our own oh. Mama G. Mama G, no, Chief of General. Please put oh. our together. Put our together. Put our together. Our own patience of Zoko. Nemo, oh, God bless you. God bless you because you've come to celebrate some. Celebration will never depart your abode in Jesus' name. And like I said earlier, ladies and gentlemen, in a place like this, it is practically impossible for me to get to everybody one by one. And I want to say again, Onyen Lozoli Bafaya Bitya Osonami Uwe. But if it becomes very, very necessary that you're going to get to me, don't do my hesitate. Come to me. I am your brother. I am a part of you. My name is Richard Waka. Better not me, and of course, I'll do exactly what you want me to do. Like I told you earlier on, as an MC, I am a conductor. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to make welcome in a special way the members of the Script Writers Association of Nigeria. Script writers, you are welcome. Please put your hands together, screen writers. Put your hands together for screen writers. Madam, thank you very much. I'm sure we met yesterday. God bless you. Thank you very much. I also wish to welcome the members of ELCA. ELCA, you're welcome. Uh, members of staff of the Access Bank. No, no, God bless you. I know we have a lot of teachers here. Because as a little boy, I think I actually didn't like teachers very well. 
Each time when you hear Simon Tulono, Neil Lomak, the Italiochi, then I say to every teacher here, you're especially welcome. God bless you. There is a family. There is a family that has, has actually lost Sami. I told you guys yesterday that the service community has lost Sami. The Nollywood family has lost Sami. Nigeria has lost Sami. Asaba, uh, sorry, uh, ADU has lost Sami. But there is a family. The Dumuibe family members. Where the Opiagos come from? Ndumuibe Ndonu. Ndumuibe Ndonu. Ndonu. You know, if I am Milia Pama Mezu, you know. Then I wish to welcome, make welcome the members of the SPC class of 1986. Where the younger brother to our own family belongs to. Noble Patricians are welcome you. Noble Patricians are welcome you. As a little boy, I I understood that then in Asaba there were only two secondary schools, SBC and other. If you sabi, you go sabi. God bless you. I also wish to welcome the in-laws from Oka. And I also wish to welcome Particularly the Honorable Commissioner for Tourism in the person of our Chief Florence Jopo. Honorable, you are especially welcome. And uh, in this vein, I welcome all the government functionaries here. I also wish to welcome the members of the Asaba Development Union worldwide. ADU Dalono. ADU Dalono. ADU Dalono. Ladies and gentlemen, I also wish to welcome. The members of the very, very prestigious Asaba Club here, the members of the ASDEV Club, ASDEV Jikebenu, ASDEV Jikebenu, Organelo Machine. I don't want to take the whole time here talking and talking and talking. All I'm going to tell each and every one of us. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the arrival of some Asaba chiefs. So you see, this occasion is such that it's going to continue and continue and continue. God bless you for being here. You are stepping out here with nothing less than longevity and progress in Jesus' name. That little thing, my brother, soul, staring back. Jacob, Kaza, okay, okay. Jacob, okay, okay. My brother, Chukuni Wama, leading the soul, staring back. Namobweshi, Namobweshi. The leading the soul, staring back is going to thrill you. Of course, like what he told me right here, it is just a tip of the iceberg as com compared to what we are going to see. Ladies and gentlemen, I say thank you. Right now, we welcome the arrival of the Diopa of the Obiago family, our own Obweshi, Honorable Afamo Obiago. Namo Obweshi, Namo Akego. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, as we move closer to the scene, we open the script better and understand it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I am your brother. Uche Chukuka Ilwaka is my name. Oga Dello Noma.
at the end of the stage, I thought a minute ago, my brother MC, to all of the God willing God, my brother Ume, I saw him here, I am my special welcome, God bless you. I also have recognized the members of the actual guild of Nigeria, Nigeria and Togo. I also have seen in the gathering the, the members of LMP, moving from uh, uh, producer to Togo. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see that the place is gradually turning to a carnival. At the onset, it was quite a memorable ceremony, but right now it's look around the fine that it has moved from being a memorable ceremony arena to a carnival arena. Feel free, remember that we are not just very, we are about to celebrate my brother and my sister. Now the day where person mom, person in the morning sun. I never see a person with all wear clothes from house. But where we're wearing what is protect my family to go mourn with them. This is the only place for you to mourn yourself. So to everybody here, I appreciate your presence. I know that so many things are happening here, so many have happened. I also have been informed that the Lollywood, the actors here are preparing for generation in honor of our departed brother. We are going to see that. We are also aware that there's going to be Lollywood dance also in honor of our own daddy's son. I'm 
I am dying in pain My heart is so heavy man has gone who shall I tell who shall I cry unto oh my man oh 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 That you are wicked. You stole the king of Nollywood away from us. What a world. I speak the language no uh, one. But then uh, <clears throat> I met at the Sam. I'm an actor. I'm a filmmaker. I've been filming for a couple of years. I met at the Sam 2020. 2020, the year 2020. That was when we met on the set. Zara, when he came to just to film Zara, we met, and uh, at that instance, Alisam told me that he loved my talent. 
he and Haribi, because he and Haribi were on the same set. And uh, Haribi was the first person that saw me and said he liked my talent before that exam came in. Haribi was saying, I'm going to take you to Inugu. Abraham, I will bring you to Inugu. That is someone said, no, I'm taking this young man to Asaba. And they kept on jokingly playing like that. But then uh, there is a second job that happened in Jaws, uh, the same production house. So they invited that Sam. Haribi was not there. So um, when that Sam came, I played his son. He was the king, I was the prince. And uh, I played his son, the prince. And when he saw me the second time, he now told me, he said, Abraham, whatever you are doing in Jaws, you do not have a platform, enough platform to project your face. So why don't you come to Asaba? I have a car that I will give to you to be running round Asaba for auditions and uh, productions. I have uh, a production manager that I know, producers and stuff that I can connect you to so that you can, uh, uh, you can project your face. Because here in Jaws, you, the, the, the filmmaking industry is not as vibrant as it is in, in Asaba. And then I consider this offer. And uh, 2021, uh, June, we kept on chatting for some time. And then I decided to make the move. June. And then when I made the move, I kept on calling him and stuff. Finally, we met. He introduced me to some production managers and producers. And then finally, I was able to connect with uh, Ferdinand. The production manager named Ferdinand, who was working on the set of Ju Mrs. Drew Doris of Drew Doris TV, of Drew Doris TV on YouTube. And uh, uh, when we met with him, uh, and uh, the director of that set was uh, Mr. Um, uh, Shamalite. Uh, Shamalite. So Shamalite spoke to the producer, Mrs. Drew Doris, and then uh, she decided to give me a room. When she gave me a room, I played my part very well. That was where she saw me, and the third number she saw me. From there, from one job to another, I kept on going. Mrs. Dijon decided to pick me up and uh, work with me. Ferdinand also decided to also work with me. Any job he got, he picked me up and uh, worked with me. And uh, Daddy Sam was a very nice person. I worked with him. He had a production uh, this weekend where he featured me. I played as an insane man in that production, which was meant to do on African magic. And uh, after that, we had other productions that were supposed to work on. But unfortunately, it was hit by stroke around uh, August end when he went, he went for a job at a... Uh, uh, I think around Inuki. He went for a job, and when he came back, he was feeling very funny. He was feeling very funny that he came back and he was fine. He went to the hospital that night. Came back, he was still fine. The next morning, he still went to the hospital. And then when he went to the hospital, he now called and said that he was begging at the hospital and that I need time to come see him. So when I went there, as I went to the hospital, and uh, that was where it started. And, uh, unfortunately, I cannot explain the scenario because it's heart rending. But then that was when he was hit with stroke. He was hit his stroke, his stroke while I was there. And uh, we had to go to the family house. Me and the friend of his, we went to the family house and informed them of his situation. The family came in and uh, that was where they picked up the treatment. And he was getting better, to be sincere, that the son was better. And he was supposed to get up by December because the physiotherapist was doing a good job. And the physiotherapist specifically said that uh, we should get a walking stick for him three days or four days after he was supposed to, uh, three or four days after he was supposed to start walking. And uh, we got that walking stick for that exam. We got that working stick for that exam. And uh, unfortunately for us, before then, he was hit with uh, typhoid and malaria. He was hit with typhoid and malaria, and uh, that was what he did not recover from. The typhoid and malaria. He did not recover from it. I have been with that exam from the very time he fell sick. 
I have been with Daddy Sam from the very time he fell ill throughout the four or five months of his uh, illness. I have been with him from beginning to the end. Daddy Sam passed on holding my hands. He passed on holding my hands. He fell sick while I was watching him. He died holding my hands. It is very sad. Very sad. Somebody that uh, you feel is a helper that has been sent to help you. You just have one month or two months uh, with the person. But like Sam is a very good person, I will tell you, because even on his sick bed, he was still recommending me to directors and producers. Even on his sick bed, he was saying, Abraham, go to work. And I told him, I said, Daddy, no, I cannot go to work. I can't go to work. I can't. While you are in this situation, I can't. Most of the times he forced me to go to one or two different jobs. I think when he was sick, I went to two or three different jobs where I just play some minor roles because of his insistence. Any job that comes, I make sure I tell him that, that, he, that this director or this producer calls me for a job and he will say, Abraham, go. And when he insists, yeah, I have nothing to do with the job. And he will call the director or producer and say, my son is on your set. He regards me as son. Even within a short period of time of bonding with him, he regards me as son. The family regards me as son because of how I stood by him for this period of four or five months. It's, it's, it's very unfortunate. It is devastating for Nollywood. It is devastating for Echo Bank alumni. It is devastating for Nigeria. But it is very devastating for me because when I look at myself, I'm still in Asaba. And then I say, who is going to roof me? Who is going to care for me? Who is going to want to recommend me? Who is going to believe in me the way that Isam did? Believe in me. It is very difficult for you to find persons of this nature in this generation. And I want to let you know, with all sincerity, that the son was a good man. It doesn't matter what you or other people feel about him. But not everybody is going to house a stranger. Not everybody is going to meet somebody for just uh, one or two, three days, and then decide to house them in his, in his house. You don't know whether the person is a thief or anything. That the son was exceptional. He fought a good fight and passed on to glory. I know very well because I know how close he was to God during his sick days and even while he was still alive. I know how he was close to God. The family was also still by him. The family did very well. It's not every family that stands by, by you when you are sick. It's family. We have what? And God will bless them ever. I pray that He finds rest in the bosom of our most high God and rest in perfect peace. And I know that His Spirit is ever watching over me because that is Sam. I'm telling you this. I have said it to some persons, and I'm still telling it to you that whatever it takes, even if it means I sleep under the bridge in Asaba to achieve the, the, the aim to which you bring me down to Asaba. I will do that. I will achieve that aim. I will become the star you envisaged me to be. I will not disappoint you. The same way you were proud in me in life, you will be proud in me in death. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, my best friend. Rest in peace, my father. Rest in peace, the king of Nollywood. Then, you are wicked. You stole the king of Nollywood away from us. What a world. Neka 
Who shall I tell? 